some time ago set up posted in our discord about a little project he was working on. It's not a very small project, it's actually a very huge project. And you can probably see its head bobbing up and down there. And this is a huge turtle fortress. Of course, it is a turtle fortress. So in this video, I just wanted to take a look at this thing, because I must say I find it quite inspiring. And as we can see here, it is basically a very huge battle fortress built on top of a very large turtle. So it's a little bit like the city version of uh, Bowser, you could say. In any case, um, we should walk around a little bit and check this out because this structure is uh, walkable in that regard. So, um, well, we can see we got some battlements, some... Uh, uh, it's very like walkable and it has a lot of a lot of details and decorations and quite some bit of uh, funny <laughs> Easter eggs here and there. We should definitely check that out. Like here, for example. Me trying to play something that involves um, sport with spheres. Anyways. Um, we can just dive through here a little bit. And it's a cram fortress. Um, it's actually quite strong. It... Um, it deals a lot of damage. It's a cram frontsider, if we want to be uh, technical like that. And uh, even though it has, uh, even though it's basically um, mainly looking very cool, it's it's actually pretty strong too. Um, and I also love that it would of course be unacceptable for the turtle for, to lose its head. So it's actually reinforced with heavy armor inside of here. Which, um, which is good, I think. Anyways, um, let's 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 take a little walk around tour on this thing. I don't know where we should like uh, begin, but I must say you can see these these houses. Um, it's like clay walls um, in a kind of. I guess it's uh, like. Oh, now I got stuck stuck here. Okay. Uh, it's uh, basically like uh, farm style, like English farmhouse style, little medieval type house here, which is pretty cool. I love that there is just so much detail put into this thing. Here we have cram mortars, which can be aimed. <laughs> here we have wood logs. It's just so much details. Because when it was almost done, um, I wanted to look at it, but setup said it should add a little bit more uh, details to it. So I waited until then to check it out because I wanted to have the full detailed experience when we actually walk around on this thing. And this is uh, downloadable um, via the workshop for anyone. So it's, uh, it's public. Uh, so that's really nice. You can take uh, and you should take a look at it yourself as well. So many staircases. Unfortunately, From the Depth is a game that's very not suited to walk around on and stuff like that. But I mean, we can find funny, jo funny jokes like this. This poor feline um, stuck under. Well, anyways, I also love the kind of coral patterns on the uh, um, arms of the turtle. Is it called arms or is it called fins and turtles? I think it's, I don't know. And here we have, we have just so much detail. Oh no, we fell down. Like here. <laughs> Someone fishing. That's just, uh, that's just so funny detail to add there. A little fishing thing there. It's a very nice. And we have like small roofs on everything, like old turret had these uh, 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 painted blue 
metal roofs looks a little bit like um, eroded copper or something like that. It, it uh, definitely draws the thought to something like that. And of course the tennis courtyard, a lot of uh, turrets hidden and uh, stuck inside of here. And you can really see that most of the turrets, if we go like this, they will actually be able to uh, face forward and hit an enemy. So <clears throat> it definitely packs some power here. And inside the head, it's an, it's not only decoration. We have a good couple of uh, uh, propellers here. And I think we have some mimics in front of it to make it not look like that. But uh, it definitely helps with turning. And there is just so many of these small houses all over the place. It's, it's really cool. And here is even a little... It looks like a little entrance, but I don't think there is anything actually inside of there. It's very cool. Like, there is really, it really looks like there is a lot of space to kind of live. Uh, and it definitely reminds me of uh, Mortal Engines and the world of Philip Reeve with the moving cities, but this is, well, this is a bit different. <coughs> I think we can explore a little bit from the top. <laughs> I see no god here other than me. The chef says, well, that's nice. <laughs> and here we have a <laughs> nice cram barrage, bro. That's true. We should check that out a little bit later, too. Let's see what the kind of top area is. Here we actually have a little... We have a little engine there. That's interesting. A little surge protector. We have detection here on the top tower. Some cameras that face all the way. Cool. They actually have some redundancy there, and we got uh, <clears throat> these uh, range things. Ooh. And this is just it's just great. There is like enough room for it to be walkable, so that's very nice. And we even have like details like a bed. Because why not? I think it would be a little bit cold to stay up here, but. And if we go down here, there is so many corridors, and I guess we can actually control those. Yep, that's nice. And here we have further detection inside of there. That's very nice. They can see in almost... That's a very smart and compact way to put a little tower with 360 cams like that. That's cool. Well, we should... Uh, Head down here, if we may. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, there we have it. So we have walkways over there. And we have to go out to kind of... Uh, because there is a... Courtyard thing. Or a... Uh, a little area where we can sit. Oh, here's another one. That's... <laughs> that's so nice. That's uh, looking through the detection there. That's really cool. Yeah, so we have a lot of details like that, and these 200 millimeter cramps look quite intimidating, I must say. We also got some uh, very extra detection here. Here we have the mess hall. Somebody had too much, it looks like. Is that the landmine? No. We have some more barrels and a table. It's it looks very nice, as you can see. It's uh, it's definitely an interesting little. Um, build to just walk around on and explore while from the depth really need some kind of update to make it to make it walkable in a better sense but well that's nothing we can do when building and it feels like I, I'm keep getting kind of lost almost whoops then we're going down here to the well, here we are just above the head of the turtle, very cool. And we have the corridor, a long corridor, which we can walk through here. And here we have an interesting, looks like a power core lightning thing. That's very cool. So we have some cram parts staying around here, material storages. Yeah. 
It's just uh, a lot of thought and details inside of here. I like that quite much indeed. So, um, just to check around a little bit quickly, is there something that we really should look at? Or should we like... Um... Oh, look, here is another one. <laughs> There's so many of these characters just standing around. I find it, I find it pretty fun and cool. And yeah, I'm like already definitely very lost walking around here. <clears throat> I mean, it's not that large, but it also is kind of large and there is so much area. And these area and spaces actually work pretty well as, <clears throat> well, air gaps and open armor. And this build is just shy of 2 million. So it's definitely a larger structure, that's for sure. If we go in here, you can see it's basically 2 million, 80,000 blocks. Yeah. So I think we should do like this. And we should be going through a different moods here. <clears throat> so uh, we should be looking at structure blocks. And it takes time because it's 2 million. Wow. So big. And here we can see these... <clears throat> these... Uh, cram cannon mortars. They are no joke. They're big ones. And it's even some uh, nice 3D cramming going on there. So <clears throat> that's very much approved. It doesn't only look very cool it's also very well built and when i loaded this in i think it was like version 400 and something so it's clearly been worked on a long time which we can see from the results and uh, it's quite amazing <clears throat> right so we are mimicking front propellers i think it floats a little bit with the propellers but it has a lot of internal air gaps with pumps in them individual small cells and there we got some staggered era. Uh, and each of these era blocks actually um, <clears throat> um, will absorb 2500 kinetic damage. So they do actually help quite a bit against uh, EMP. Um, no, uh, against kinetics, um, kinetic shells, because, yeah. So that's really cool. And we got big engines going on here on the side wow that's like huge columns we got some extra ai's god just over the ammo department that's a lot of ammo though we estimate you require a maximum of it has more than double the ammo it needs to have that's kind of interesting i wonder why that should just be a risk anyways is this Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so these are not turrets. Okay. These are just connected with like thin necks. Up to a yeah, cram cannon, just like that. So it's a front siding. But actually, the, the, the compartments of these cannons, they're down here and they're pretty big. So they're decently protected and they truly, they truly pack a punch here. We can even see if we... Uh, can see what type of... Uh... Oh no, these are on a turret. Never mind. Yeah, here we see the turret blocks. Okay. They are on a turret. Okay, so do they kind of... Ish clip into each other? Why are they on a turret? I didn't know they... Uh... <clears throat> they shouldn't... Is it some EMP thing? To protect them against EMP a little bit. Is it some, not like those, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like, maybe they can turn a little bit sideways, like wiggle a little bit in sideways. <clears throat> um, that's a little bit weird though. I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't quite get why they are on turrets actually. Should be able to mount them directly. And here we have, uh, APSs as well. Looks like 500. 
mm, so it will probably shoot pretty slowly, but pretty powerfully as well. And a lot of mortars. Well, what do we have in the wings? We have propellers, we have floating capabilities. Here we got some extra ammo as well. Well, cool. I think we've seen the internals of this thing. Um, it's very, very compact, it's well built, it has a lot of areas and here we have an AI inside of there, probably protected by heavy armor with some... Yep. And we got some surge protectors all around it to protect against EMP. Well, I believe we must see this thing a little bit in action. One thing I kind of want to do also is to click the end button, uh, left, right, cutting, just so we can kind of get a cut through of it. So we can really like see it from the side here. Ah, so cool big structure. I also love that the internal blocks are like meat red. <laughs> That's so intentional. They are meat red, so it looks like if it gets damaged, it's like flesh wounds that heal up, not machine. And we have a big wall of wood to take some... Uh, pull up some health points there. That's cool. It's a, it looks like a really powerful frontsider, that's for sure. And we have, um, yeah, very nice, nice 3D. Ah, and the turrets are armored with heavy armor in the front and with with uh, metal in the back. So that's a little uh, cost saving thing one can do. Okay, anyways, now we should see it in action, of course. So, I do believe we should try and spawn the uh, broadsword, just because that looks funny. It will, of course, lose. There it is. Let's see how our FPS goes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Wow. It just sends so many shots. Here we have the cram mortars going on there. And I, I turned up the settings. I just thought the turtle lord looked so dreamy. So I just wanted to get this dreamy feeling. But I will change my settings to... Um, what should we call them? Battle settings? Probably. Because... Um, we can see this uh, FPS is not great. Lord, this is some scary barrage. Oh my god. <laughs> it's very powerful. Looks beautiful. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of damage. All right. Here we go. Now we've got less good FPS. Um, I think I think this thing is kind of soon dead. Now we can see the next... Oh, wow. That's so many shots. And it's like some really heavy, really heavy APS. Two rock, like really big. Oh my god. And these are... These are serious mortars, that's for sure. So many of them too. And how... Turtle Lord is at 100%. Even though it took some... Barrage in the front, it's definitely... Very functional. It's already repaired. And the turtle is backing away. Oh, 
Well, it's definitely powerful too. But I enjoy it much more in uh, HD. <laughs> and you can see it's just so it's just so powerful. Yeah, well, we're not doing like battles here. Let's turn back it. And there we go. Let's turn back some nice graphics here just because we're here for looking fancy, not anything else. Oh well. It's it's like designed very well as well. It looks so cool too. It still is kind of there. Cool. So it looks like these small houses are kind of a chimneys or something and they're stuck. God. Don't breathe the air uh, when this ship is in battle. Yeah, this is this is definitely uh, the moving city version of Bowser. That's that's my verdict or guess what this thing could be named <laughs> or could be called. We have invisible shields, but they don't still do their job. Yeah. My computer can barely handle um, big builds like this thing. It's very huge. Um, but wow, yeah. I should definitely, when I when I finish the Draconia, which will be around this cost, it will be a little cheaper than the Turtle Lord. But I, it would be interesting to pitch it against the Turtle Lord and see if uh, moving castle Bowser can take it out. It probably can. I'm just wondering how quickly. <laughs> because my Draconia is slow and uh, this one uses cram mortars, which uh, honestly would be great to take out the Draconia, I think. In any case, um, thanks for watching and do take a look yourself at uh, Setup's Turtle Lord. You probably already have seen it if you've been playing the game because it's uh, it's uh, gaining popularity and it's still on the launch screen last I checked. So do check that out and I will be seeing you in future videos. This is your host Jim Odesim and we are signing out with this beautiful creation. Very good job. Bye-bye.